Are you tired of hearing about 5G? Me too. So today I'm going to tell you about 6G. That's right folks, the sixth generation of wireless communication. Technically speaking, it doesn't exist yet, but that hasn't stopped the internet from all sorts of wild speculation. Thing is, most of the 6G info out there is based on a small handful of reports and studies. So to help clear up any misconceptions, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of all the things we know for sure about 6G. You're watching The Deets, a show where we demystify the technologies that are shaping the future. I'm your host, Riley Wynn. So is 6G even real? Well, yes and no. Yes, 6G, or whatever it's eventually called, will replace 5G. But right now, 6G is not a functioning piece of technology, and still very much in the research phase. The telecom industry is so heavily focused on 5G that it's been treating 6G like a middle sibling. And mom and dad, aka big telecom, are going to focus on their 5G baby for the foreseeable future. So if the industry is so focused on 5G, when will 6G actually launch? Well, mobile technology has evolved on a relatively steady basis. 3G came in the early 2000s, 4G in the 2010s, and 5G in 2020. So it's reasonable to think that we won't get 6G until the 2030s. However, just because we may not see 6G for 10 years, doesn't mean it's not being worked on right now. Just like with 5G, most major companies and governments will work on 6G projects, and several already are talking about plans. Japan has most recently launched its 6G project. Both Samsung and LG have 6G research centers in South Korea. Huawei also reportedly started its 6G research. And even in the US, President Donald Trump tweeted in February of 2019 that he wanted 5G and even 6G technology in the United States as soon as possible. Everyone is already hopping on the 6G bandwagon, even the Donald. All of these different governments and companies are starting to work on 6G. But can we tell yet who will have the fastest 6G? No, but that hasn't stopped experts from guessing. One expert claimed 6G could deliver mind-boggling speeds of one terabit per second or 8,000 gigabits per second. Forget using 5G to download just one movie in a few seconds from Netflix. With 6G speeds, in just one second, you could download the entire Stranger Things series seven times over or download 142 hours of Netflix movies. It's great to talk about what 6G could do, but since it's just a pie in the sky idea at this point, why does it matter to you? Well, it's going to be like 5G, but more so. Even higher speeds, lower latency, and masses of bandwidth. Researchers and scientists are even talking about 6G being the network to move away from wires and use our devices as antennas to create a decentralized network that's not under the control of a single network operator. So 6G could be the generation to take the power away from the big telecom companies and give it to the people. 5G is expected to take tech that already exists like autonomous cars, drones, and smart cities to the next level. But 6G may bring to life futuristic ideas like the integration of our brains and computers. Technology could soon tap into our bodies through something like a contact lens and show us a different world than reality. Imagine that. 6G literally could bring on real life cyborgs. It could make charging your phone out of thin air a reality. And 6G coverage could extend over oceans and even into space. So when we finally colonize the moon, you can still FaceTime with your boring Earth friends. In other words, with 6G, science fiction could become science fact. 5G is going to change the way we communicate over the next five years. But when 6G is finally ready, it could entirely change the way we live. When do you think we'll see 6G? Give us your prediction in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Riley Wynn with Digital Trends, and thanks for watching.